All right, uh, yeah, for those of you who saw the uh, summoning video I did, <laughs> obviously we didn't have a whole lot of luck there. Um, but yeah, so basically we're going to try to break in a champion. Um, all we have to do is win one. Well, where we are now, all we have to do is win one, uh, and I'll get into champion. <laughs> do I think I'll win? Yeah, probably not. Um, I feel like it's going to take a while, uh, but we'll, we'll see. Um, hopefully I can make... Um, Get a few matches going and you know make this kind of interesting and not just like one and done right because i really don't like playing um weld arena despite what that almost nearly 200 uh <clears throat> nearly 200 participation rate would tell you uh, i really just despise playing arena in general it, it, it's always just miserable experience when you don't have units um good units for arena and we'll, we'll see as my draft phase goes on and, and we'll see what kind of some problems are and Hopefully it can it can uh, commentate a few of these things pretty well. Uh, so basically, my first ban, first and only ban, is always going to be um, uh, Athletica here because she's just insanely powerful, and I really don't feel like dealing with that. So uh, yeah, I, see, I hear a lot of people are picking are taking G Perg these days, so that's kind of interesting. Um, first time I've ever seen a G Perg ban. Um, we're gonna take Cerise. If they got rid of G-Perg, chances are um, they weren't going to pick Cerise anyway. Because if, if they left uh, G-Perg there, they could cancel out his um, his CR push by just using Cerise's S3. So I think the I think the point was they didn't want to do that. So Or they weren't really too interested in doing that. Uh, so we're going to go... They're really turtling up, so I think... I guess we kind of got to go damage and more damage. So let's go with that and we'll take Landy. So let's take a look at where they're going. Um, yeah, so they're taking a lot of tank. Uh, we have to kind of see what they're up to. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so that that's usually, you know, T. Surin isn't necessarily a tank, right? But she very much is very tank-esque. So uh definitely something to watch out for so usually when you're taking basically uh, if you see this this is my arena team if i could choose one would be um fallen cc ml crow and and her i do have fallen cc and ml crow on my defense team but i don't have t cern but you know you can see here um starting off that's basically what that is um so let's go i'm gonna go lilius because lilius is basically the main counter to um falconer clurry uh, and I'm not sure what else to go. There's a lot of AoE here. Uh, there's a lot of AoE here. And I kind of want to go with her. And if they pick an anti-reviver, I think I should be fine because then I can just ban it. Because I'm, I'm relatively okay with fighting the rest of this. But let's see what their move is. Because... Yeah, let's see how this goes. Um, reviving isn't like the meta is really against revivers currently, so we're definitely be in for a, a rough time if uh, we just try to go with reviving. Um, hmm. I don't like this. I think we can, yeah, I think we should be fine here, but we'll find out. We'll find out. Uh, Arbiter, we'll put you back here. I don't have any, oh, actually I do. So we're going to put you two up here. Um, you're here and you're here. So she's giving them the, uh... <clears throat> I don't really have too high hopes for this, but uh, we'll, we'll see how this goes. I think his flurry is going to outspeed my uh, Cerise because my Cerise is only like 270 speed. 270 something, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, very interesting. Um, so let's just try to hit this off, see what happens. <clears throat> uh, the best we can do is basically just take off immunity, but I don't have effectiveness that's high enough for this. Oh, well, we took off the immunity, it's not bad. Um, he's probably going to hit Vildred, which is alright. Oh no, he didn't. Okay, that's very interesting. And it didn't actually do anything, and I got the Vildred. We'll see, <laughs> we'll see if this is the one I win, but... Uh, this team is very tanky, so I doubt we did very much damage. So as you can see there, we didn't do a whole lot. Um, let's take Crow out of here. If if Cerise could do this, I think Lilius can, and I guess she couldn't. <laughs> um, okay. 
So this is looking kind of bad. Um, okay, so you got to go. Let's get everybody with the immunity buff here. Uh, or not the immunity, um, the revival. You want to get the revival as soon as possible, right? Because, uh, what's her name back there? Um, I forgot what her name was already. Um, her, t Surin is going to give us all unbuffable. So, uh, fortunately, everybody did everything they were supposed to do. So, we should be fine. Um... Apparently I can stun, oh, I can't actually stun anybody here. Uh, let's hit you, hopefully I bring Arbiter with me. Nope. And we can just kill her, cool. She's not the biggest threat, but she is definitely a big threat. And um, the fact that he left Arbiter, if, if he loses this, it's because he left Arbiter alive. Um, so let's kind of see. Yeah, yeah. There's really nothing you can do. There's too many dual attacks. Too many, I got a huge revive, and uh, I have no more AOE attacks. Everything's just going to be Arbiter's like two slash attacks, and and um, Kral's going to take too long to get his S3 back. So basically, he lost that on in draft, I think. Um, and yeah, yeah. Uh, so there we go. We're back in champion. Uh, I guess I don't have to play anymore. I feel like like here's here's the problem. I'm already in champion. If I play some more, there's a good chance that I'll lose again, and then I'll get knocked out of champion. Uh, and then I'll have to play even more, <laughs> and then I'll, to get back into champion, uh, and I don't know how long anybody wants to see, I might not even upload this, to be honest, but, uh, just for the, I think, just for the content, <laughs> I feel like I should, considering, uh, how little I've actually uploaded, I wish there was a way to, like, make RTA content, uh, without really caring too much, but, uh, it is what it is, uh, but yeah, so, I mean, you know, there we go, <laughs> we're in, uh, we're in champion, I was just, uh, I started filming this just because I thought we were going to get, um, knocked out well i guess for those of you who are here for the rta content that's over and we can kind of talk about um a little bit about what's going on and, and my thoughts about the game state currently um let's go see what's over here so right now we're in a very uh debuff heavy meta and it's been sort of uh, what's the word i guess like demoralizing it's i don't know it's very irritating to be playing in a meta like this um a lot of people kind of want to point out that like it was like this when Dizzy came out and it kind of was to, to some degree, but even back then, I mean, it was basically like Dizzy coming out doing what she did was basically, that was it. It was just Dizzy. I mean, other people had debuffs, but no one had debuffs the way Dizzy does, the way Dizzy did. And now we just have all kinds of units and everybody's got debuffs for days. Like every unit that comes out just has debuffs. So we've got... Um, you know, obviously Dizzy's still there. We've got Cerise. We've got uh, uh, Water Tenebrio. We've got you know ML Ball is running around now. Uh, and and not 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 only that, but there's like it just feels like everybody has uh cleansing now. So you know, like I said, F Ten A just strips. Uh, Basar DJ, uh, regular Basar has always been able to strip, and he's just annoying as usual. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, po uh, Politus has a strip uh, into debuffs. Like everybody's like, what's it? How do we? How do we do? You know, how do we make debuffers relevant? And I just give them all a strip, and they all have strips now, and it's just like, ugh, I don't know. So, I don't know. That's kind of what I find a little bit irritating is that uh, basically all your immunity sets are now worthless because, uh, especially in higher level RTA now. Basically, in higher level RTA, immunity buffs are a necessity. Uh, the immunity set's a necessity, but it's also worthless. It's like you put an immunity and you know you're going to get stripped into a debuff. Oh, and then, you know, you've got, you know, Broman. You've got, um, yeah, you got Broman. You've got things like, uh, now, what's her name? Um, T. Surin doesn't have a strip, but she may as well, considering she gives you unbuffable anyway. Um, but anyway, so there's a lot of units that are coming out that you need the immunity because if you don't have the immunity, you're just going to get screwed over more, but the immunity doesn't do anything. It just sits there. Um, because you have to, cause it, like leaving yourself open to dizzy is pretty bad, but it doesn't matter. Cause everybody's using F10A and all these strippers anyway. So it's not that big a deal. Right. Um, 
But yeah, I don't know. That that's kind of one of the things that's that's really annoying to me is that like not only do you have to have immunity on all your characters, you have to sit there and realize that all this immunity set gear is worthless because it's all going to get stripped anyway on the first turn. It's not really worth a while. Um, as you saw there, I think he had basically immunity on everybody, and I just stripped it all away with Cerise. Like you know, I mean, I'm using I'm using some of these, and basically Cerise is the only one I use because I don't have F10A built. Um, but it's a really annoying meta where you kind of have to have immunity because otherwise you're just going to get you know. It's going to get jobbed even harder, um, but, you know, if you don't have it, you're going to get jobbed even harder, but if you do have it, it, it it's worthless. It doesn't do anything. Um, but yeah, I guess that that's kind of that. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. I don't really like, like these kinds of metas. For those of you who play Yu-Gi-Oh, um, actually, I might start making Yu-Gi-Oh content as well. Uh, I do play a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh. I did play back when uh, we had tournaments and stuff, but uh, lockdown, and I've just been kind of sitting at home playing by myself with uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Pro and stuff like that. And I probably make videos and, and go over some decks and stuff. And the ban list just came out, so stuff's fresh. It's a good, it's a good time to come back in. Uh, but for those of you, I, I bring up Yu-Gi-Oh because for those of you who who have played Yu-Gi-Oh or just any card game, um, I'm just familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh, so I don't really know about other ones. Uh, control decks are always so annoying in Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, nobody likes a meta where, like, you know, set five, summon one monster, that monster generates. Um, plus three, you have a bunch of monsters, and you have, like, five, set five and go, and right? And it's like, you know, take Alter Guys, for those of you who do know Yu-Gi-Oh. It's all just trap cards all day, every day, and you gotta deal with that constantly. And it's like, that's kind of what it feels like to be playing uh, Epic Seven right now. It's all just, like, debuffs everywhere, and, you know, you gotta deal with it, right? Um... Yeah, it is what it is. I'm not going to complain too hard about it, but I'm certainly not going to be happy about it. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of, if you want to know the main reason, that's kind of the main reason I've kind of like let off the gas in terms of playing this game so much. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm still grinding every day. I, I log in every day, get all my gems, um, do some uh, side, do the side story, do the uh, get my molas and all that stuff. So I'm still kind of just gathering stuff and I'll be ready to go whenever... The game kind of picks up again, and and I I felt like the game was going to pick up a little more once I got uh, ML Lilibet, but uh, I guess that's why I didn't get it right because <laughs> she would have made this a more tolerable experience. Um, so yeah, right now I'm just kind of coasting until uh, I get one more unit that'll help me deal with all this stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, basically. So either T Surin or ML Lilibet or you know who knows what else. Um, but I guess uh, I came to the screen just to kind of like. Let's take a look at some of the um, some of the units I have that I've, I've built recently over the the course of uh, that time, and some pretty good ones I think uh, for those people looking for builds. Uh, actually, if, let me see this real quick. Yeah, so she'd be she, she would be pretty good because um, she has a chance to be missed on the first turn. Uh, I just don't have gear for her. She's really hard to gear. Um, I've given her decent gear, but like she's never tanky enough, even with the evasion that she gets. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is just not worry about any other stats, but her speed and her, um, survivability. And then, I don't know, give her some effectiveness and let, you know, cause I, I mean, I know it's tempting to be like, oh, she does huge burn damage cause she gives herself a giant, um, you know, she gives herself attack and she gives herself a giant, uh, greater attack buff and all that stuff. And, that, and that's great. But I think, um, I think I'm just going to run all three, like, like health here, Effectiveness here, that's not an effectiveness, and speed here, right? And I'm just going to run her like that, and whatever effectiveness I can get, uh, whatever damage I can get in there is is will be fine, right? So I think that's how I'm going to run her, but uh, for now, she's kind of benched because she can't... Um, she's just too easily, like... You just kill her, and she's also fire, which means that uh, most of the units are just going to be effective on her, so she'll just die to, like, uh, you know, Cerise or uh, F10A, which are the two main water units... Oh, but yeah, anyway, let's not... It's just an example of like, oh, here's another unit I could use, but I haven't been able to get her working. Uh, one unit that's actually working out fantastically for me, she actually, like, solos teams sometimes, because uh, how good she is, like... That's just ridiculous. Um, is my counter Ravi. Uh, Fire Ravi, obviously she got some serious buffs, and she's been doing pretty good for me. Um... The, the the only thing she's lacking is damage, but uh, I think this I like the survivability on her. Uh, the only thing I feel like I would change is this speed boot. Now I gave her a speed boot just because it's like I feel like the speed would be pretty good on her. Um, but I'm, I want to see how she does. You basically experiment, see how she does with a uh, an attack percent boot, uh, which I'm gonna get uh, from here. Let's go take a look. 
Conquest points. Uh, not here. It's the last one. It's this one. Uh, this boot here. Um, so basically this boot has everything I need and then that effect resistance stat, I can switch it over with one of those gems to health percentage and then I'll be solid. Um, yeah, I think this would be, I think this has the potential to be an amazing boot. I just have to, uh, grind up some more crests and I'll, I'll be able to take it and then give it a shot. If it doesn't work on her, it's still, it'll work on someone basically is why it's such a good investment. It's like, it's going to work on someone. Uh, this one's not so good. Uh, not a whole lot of counter people need HP percentage main stat. Uh, but again, you can swap out that effect resistance for like attack percentage or just just anything other than that, right? Uh, so what made all this gear so good is these these uh, these gems to swap out stats. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so looking forward to that and seeing how she does. Uh, she might not need the speed. Like I might get enough speed from just having her get hit and take turns anyway. So we'll see how that turns out. Uh, so yeah, um, plus fifteen. Uh, I don't have any merges. If I did, she'd get defense, which isn't the best. Uh, I gave her defense just because defense kind of makes up for uh, HP uh, in, a, in RTA a lot. Because in RTA, your HP goes down really fast, uh, thanks to whatever. But uh, the defense is actually very useful. So you're not, like, getting hit, like, a, you know, like getting hit really hard uh, later turns of Frenzy. Um, but, yeah, so let's see who else. I really want to... Hold on, I'll be right back. Uh, okay. Uh, so the number one unit... That's on my list of units to build is in fact uh, Cecilia, Fire Cecilia. Uh, but by the fact, by the by, looking at her, you can see she is in fact not built. <laughs> um, so that kind of goes to show you like where I am in terms of the game. It's like I really do want to build her like a lot, but I don't have like resources or well, I mean, I have a lot of gold, but I don't have a lot of gear. And I know grinding and I know rolling gear is going to make me even more like uh, what's the word? Disheartened, I guess. It's gonna just gonna kill my motivation even more. Is making gear because I know it's all gonna be crap, uh, and then she's just gonna sit there, uh, probably worse off than when she started. Um, but yeah, so uh, having CC here, giving out immunity is just excellent. Um, just because uh, Lilius does such a good job of just clearing it on. This is my Lilius. Um, this merge, I actually got it. When the banner came out, I pulled her about halfway through Pity, and I was like, dude, she's going to be so good. I, I I know I have to get another copy. So I got two copies in the same banner, um, and then got the, the imprint. The imprint's not like the biggest deal, but it's certainly very useful and, you know, better to have it and not need it, right? Uh, this is her stats. Her stats are kind of crap, uh, obviously. Um, people can get, like, like the stats you see here, people can get these stats with, like, also 100% crit chance as, a, as a, like, a by the way, right? Um... And as you can see, I don't have that because I have it's all just kind of everywhere. So, you know, but she does she does what she does. She does her job well. Uh, she holds my adamant shield because uh, I, I pair her a lot with. Um, so here's the deal: I pair her a lot with uh, ML Crow because he has immunity, right? And that's kind of why I want uh, Cecilia because people don't ban Cecilia, and I can bring Cecilia if they take if they take Crow away. And I still have the immunity because these are the only two people I have right now that grant immunity consistently. Um, so that's kind of the point of that is that um, just the immunity is so perfect. And, and having a, a, a cleanser like right after is just perfect. Um, or right before, I mean, right before. Uh, but yeah, her stats, like I said, they're all right. Um, I don't use her. Like a lot of people want her to be a second damage dealer. And I don't really use her for that. I mean, it's I'm glad when she pairs up with like a... Mm pairs up with like RB or just some other damage dealer on my team. Uh, but it's not that big a deal. It's mainly just a cleanse that I enjoy. And uh, the fact that I can like lock down a unit sometimes with this, uh, with this, it's like, it's, it's super irritating getting hit by this. It's like, it's just the worst. Uh, but the, the CR reduction is, is pretty good here too. But the, the thing that kind of like, I think like the, the secret thing that makes this so good is not only just the CR reduction, but the, the, where is it? The 50% uh, CR boost. Like, she gets her second turn so fast. Like, she goes in there, she cleanses, and then she pushes everyone back, assuming they don't have immunity, or maybe you brought uh, a stripper beforehand. Uh, but she goes in, she pushes everyone back, and then she boosts herself, and then you get to lock down a unit with this, if you, you know, if you do, which usually you want to aim for someone like, um, in that last fight, I used it on Crow and it didn't work, but maybe you'd want to use it on someone like, uh, what's her name? Um, the t, the t that was there. Uh, and then, you know, you wouldn't get AoE'd in that point or whatever, you know. 
But basically, the, the point is, it's like it's a very good skill uh, when it works. Uh, and this, I gave her. I don't know why I gave her more damage here. It's not really that useful. I think it's just because it was like each one was like one molar or something. And I was just like, I just had some left over. Um. Yeah, it was like one, 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 and then I don't know. Oh, and then this last one was uh from these hearts. I forgot. No, I have no idea. I don't remember. But yeah, this damage isn't that big a deal. I wouldn't like stress over it. But I think getting this to 100% and then uh, getting the one turn cooldown on this is is valuable. But yeah, I mean, if you if you can get if you can get her as fast as you want her, uh, I'm not necessarily saying at this speed, but this speed is good for me because it goes before uh, ML Crow. Um. Yeah, it goes before ML Crow, and it's not like she's not like I'm not sacrificing too much other stats to get this to get this speed. Uh, but if you can get her as fast as you want, uh, as tanky as you want, um, I think, and then and then you can get a good amount of crit chance, you know, whatever crit chance you want, 80, 90, 100 percent crit chance. I think at that point, you know, that that's good. But I can't get that 100 percent crit chance without sacrificing uh, a bunch of like survivability. So I'll, it's not something I you know I'm going to chase after. Um. This effect resistance can be effectiveness, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm just like, I love all these, like, let's see if I have any. Uh, nope, I do not. So, I love all these, like, uh, these things that they added into the game. They're just so good, like, for patching up, uh, for one, patching up all this arena gear. Because it's, like, the thing about arena gear, and, and if you watch, like, for those of you who watch any any YouTuber who covers, you know, oh, look, this is the new arena gear. Let's They just kind of go over it. Always, always, it's like always, everything is just one stat away from being perfect. And it's, if it's one stat away from being perfect, what well, we do have, we can now patch that up thanks to these. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, who else is here? Uh, my Melissa needs to be boosted, but I don't have gear for her. Uh, if anything, I'm probably, if if I if ever the day comes where I feel like um, Arbiter is not doing good enough with the gear he has on, I'll probably put it on to her to make her fast as, as fast as I can. Uh, and then just have her like one shot somebody like basically um what's his name the uh uh ml violet um but yeah uh nothing here uh she's basically just got placeholder gear like i just kind of threw on a set just to make sure she had gear on but none of this is very optimal uh i like the effect is just, uh, the effectiveness is good the crit chance is good crit damage is all right like all this is just all right but you really you you would be okay with her sacrificing some attack and and crit damage for more HP and defense so that she survives more because again she's not here to do a lot of damage she's here to defense break everyone if she does damage that's pretty good too but she's here to defense break everyone and then let your other people kind of go in there and take over for her so having her survive is probably the most important thing um, and of course she doesn't have a lot of mola uh, uh, basically max mola the sleep chance on this even though um, the idea is with like a maxed Etika Scepter, I think it's like 50%. With the maxed Etika Scepter, you don't want her to, um, you don't want her to be using this. Theoretically, you want her to just cycle between her S3 and her S2. Because uh, the, decre the decreased speed is ridiculous, uh, along with a CR reduction. And then sleeping, obviously, and then and then um, defense breaking everyone is just dumb. And then she gives herself an attack buff, which is why it's okay to kind of like not worry about attack percentage. Uh, and then obviously, as I was pulling from ML a little bit, I uh, was wanted to talk about this. Uh, it's good to give out crit chance on the uh, imprint release, right? Because again, she's not going to be the primary damage dealer. You want someone else to do damage, and giving other people um, crit chance is just perfect for that. Uh, now, uh, dual attacks—they're all right. Um, I don't actually know how this works. I think it's it increases. So her 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 dual attack chance here is five percent. So I think it, it's five percent chance that she'll attack. So by increasing her own dual attack chance, it'll increase the attack of her like following up with someone and sleeping them, which is fine. Uh, there's nothing necessarily wrong with that. It's just it's not that big a deal. I feel like the, the crit chance is a lot better. Uh, she's not geared. Um, Cigarette isn't geared for anything other than Wyvern, so she's just kind of here. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm super happy with her gear. It's, it's pretty good. I mean, I could probably get more attack percentage off of this because it goes up to like 14 or something. Uh, but I haven't really needed to because she's not really useful outside of uh, Wyvern. Now, she'd be pretty good. She's pretty good for deleting teams in Guild War because she can take out all three with like in one turn, uh, theoretically, right? A lot of people like to <laughs> a lot of people like to play with theoretics. Um, but you you for one, you kind of need um, Oxlots, which I don't have. I mean, I do have Oxlots. I have four copies of Oxlots, but uh, I don't have them built because I don't have the speed gear for him right now. Uh, but yeah, so that's I mean that's where he is. That's where she is. Um, ML Crow, or regular Crow, I mean, you know, Aureus Holder and everything. Basically, he's, you know, basically a generic, um, 
build. He's got a lot of effect resistance, which I, I really do enjoy. Um, I could probably, hopefully, if, I don't know, basically all you want is more health on him. Um, more speed, more speed, more health, more effect resistance is all you want on him. Crit chance, uh, you're, you're getting, you're not really getting much out of crit chance with him. But yeah, so that's where he is. Now, I've seen some pretty crazy crowds out there because crowd because it's always interesting to look at the meta as defined by crowds HP, right? I remember back then when people were first discovering, oh, you got to run crowd on speed set, and people were pushing like you know twenty two thousand HP, and it was like, dude, that's a, that's a solid crowd. Um, and a while back, you know, like a twenty four twenty five hundred crowd was pretty solid. Uh, but I've seen you know given all this stuff that we've had out there now, especially because you can see here I've got like you know, 75 pieces here. Um, but you've seen more and more stuff come out now. And I've seen crowds anywhere, like crowds, not only faster than mine, so like 210, 220, but also hitting like 27, 20, 28,000 HP, which is pretty ridiculous. Um, basically it means that if you have him on defense, he's going to hit someone for 14. Like the earliest he'll do it is 1400 HP. And he's not even in danger of dying yet. Uh, as well as he's probably just going to kill anybody he hits with that. So that's just pretty cool. Uh, obviously, as you can see here, mine's not like top tier. It's it's you know he's decent. Uh, let's go see who else is here. Uh, obviously, Corinne is just for what's it called? Uh, this is my Cerise. She's nothing too impressive. Her her speed is pretty garbage. Uh, Two seventy three. Um, that's so. This is a pretty decent. Uh, this is a pretty decent sword. Uh, this is the first uh twenty one uh twenty above twenty speed piece that I've ever gotten. So threw that on her. But everything, everything after that is just garbage. So we've got like nine speed on here. Like I'm missing basically ten speed on this. Um, Twelve speed on this. And I'm missing about you know eight, we'll say. Uh, and then this is obviously as fast as it's going to be. Uh, this needs to be changed into uh, HP because yeah, uh, basically tanky Cerise is the way to go. Uh, just more op just optimal levels of annoyance. And this speed is it's all right, sixteen. But this was for someone else, so I took it off. It's the highest speed necklace I have. You know, it is what it is. You gotta work with what you got. Uh, my SSB, uh, she is perfect in every way. Um, she doesn't have as much crit chance, but like, she's impossible to kill. Like, no one like. Some people try to make her faster. Some people like a lot of people like experimenting with SSB, but I, like SSB strength is just her S two. So just having her sit there, very difficult to die. Um, constantly debuffing everyone with the defense break, uh, stressing them out for one, um, and then S three not only blocks buffs, but it also um, blocks healing, which again, just SSB is just here to add more stress to the situation. Um, you constantly knowing that, you know, not only is she going to heal herself because of the lifesteal, he's also penetrating your defense by 30%. Uh, so it doesn't really matter what, uh, doesn't really matter what her crit chance stats are. Like the defense pen is always going to outweigh the, the critical hit chance in most cases. Now, granted, if you're fighting against squishies who don't have a lot of defense, um, the crit, you know, higher crit chance and all stats are going to be a lot better. But uh, in this, the way she is now, she's good against everyone. Squishies are just going to die because squishies die. I mean, that's just how they work, right? Um, and she's also good against tanks. Like the constant pressure she's giving out by just you know wave after wave of S two, uh, it's just not not anything any team can deal with. Um, except for obviously, you know, she's got a few counters. She's got the um, what's his name. ML Crow is obviously a huge pain in the ass. Uh, who else? And then obviously the, the the easiest one to counter her with is going to be um, Rowana. Uh, but even them, like you don't see them everywhere, and not everyone pulls them pulls them out to counter you. Uh, I want to build her eventually, of course. Um, my dizzy is kind of garbage right now. I need a better. This is this is literally the best health counter set ring I have, um, and that just kind of goes to show you how bad this is, right? So. Also, I need to change this into uh, effect an effectiveness ring, um, and this does not need to be crit chance. This needs to be a uh, effectiveness boot. Uh, yeah, effective set boot with speed uh, speed stat. Uh, but in general, she does what she needs to. Uh, the thing with Dizzy is you want her to be as tanky and effective as possible. So you want to raise those two stats more than anything else. Um, as you can see here, even with like the suboptimal gear, I have about 70, which isn't too bad for most people. The thing about her buffs though, is like, they'll affect most people you want them to affect, which is a lot of squishies. Um, cause like crowd getting hit with an attack, buff, uh, attack reduction and a, um, and, uh, what's it called? 
attack reduction and a uh, blind and a, and a well the speed decrease is actually pretty bad but those other two debuffs on Crow on someone like Crow or MLCC or something like that they don't really do very much it's just kind of like oh okay and right but against like a like the squishies who don't have all that much effectiveness like a Arbiter Vildred or or just anybody else who's like smaller or like you know T Seren or something though she cleanses them but you know if she doesn't um, these buffs are very you know they're very crucial on them so I think you know 70 is all right but it'd be nice if you could just you know hit everyone even even really high res tanks though i think after like 100 or something it's not that crucial uh but as you see here like even with suboptimal gear i'm hitting 90 so i think once i get you know another effectiveness uh set boot and you know a little more stats here and there uh, i think she'll hit 100 percent, which is just perfect um hopefully she'll have more speed and and more tankiness as well and i can just drop a lot of attack because it doesn't really matter uh, i do have a fairy tale tenebria here as you can see but She's got no mola, she's got nothing, I just... I can barely, like, as you saw, my Cerise is 270-something speed, 271, and I can barely, like, that's the highest speed unit I have, and I can barely sustain her, right? So having two units, um, you know, it, it's it's not, you know, I don't have that kind of gear, so basically she's going to be sitting on the back until uh, I can get something for her. Um, that being said, though, I think having a high effectiveness fairy tale Tenebria, like, just without worrying too much about um, speed, might be a, a pretty solid choice, right? Because that way you don't get, like, countered by cleansers. So, like, let's say DJ Basar goes. Let's say, like, DJ Basar is one of the easiest counters, right? Because he's not going to be, he's nowhere, he's never going to be as fast as uh, Fairytale Tenebria. And then Fairytale Tenebria goes, and then DJ Basar just cleanses, and then you're you're done, right? You're basically, she her, her whole thing is made irrelevant. Uh, but if you can go after him, after he gives everybody immunity... If you're running DJ Basar on a comp, it's because no one else has effect resistance and you need DJ Basar to cleanse. But if you let him cleanse first, uh, and then you know you hit him with the with the Fairy Tail Tenebria, then you're basically solid. So having like a fast debuffer and stripper like Cerise is pretty good because then you bait them into picking the the DJ Basar. Then they 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 cleanse, right? And then you know your Fairy Tail Tenebria comes in and then just like strips everyone. Um, I don't know. It, it's a fifty fifty plus. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Basically, the only two stats you want on her are speed and effectiveness, um, is bottom line. I mean, DJ Basar can just hold his cleanse until later, you know. There's a lot of stuff, there's a lot of counterplay to it, but just something to consider. Um, who else? I mean, she just has a place. I just threw that on her because I was like, well, someone needs some, um, uh, someone might need this, and I just put it on her just to hold it. Uh, as you can see, well, it's actually not 150, it's 130. So 130... F res and she constantly gets like debuffed both of them by uh, ML Surins, which I don't I, I, I'm like 97% sure no one runs ML Surin with over 100% um, effectiveness so I don't know how she gets debuffed so easily uh, for those of you who saw that summoning video I, I pulled a copy of DN uh, I haven't used DN very much um, I very much agree with the build that five finger shuffles made though where you want her to be really fast i could make a 250 speed but i'd be taking a lot of speed gear from uh, other people i can make a 250 speed um dn with the same stats he had in that video so it's very much feasible it's just not practical is the problem um but yeah so she's just kind of here because she's she's decent and you know you never want to not have her but there's too much uh buff block to have her on a team consistently and too many strips as well uh, I don't use her very much. Uh, actually, I thought she was going to be, like, the same thing with Lilius. I thought she was going to be so good that I pulled a second copy of her. But I have not actually used her for anything, so, you know, whatever. Um, Alencia, uh, you know, what else is there to say? She's just, like, just she's just the best. Um, I'd like her to be faster and obviously more crit chance because this crit chance is garbage. Um, but the way she is now, she's just, like, I'll go long periods without using her, and then I'll, like use her and then suddenly remember she does like all the damage in the world it's insane um i was looking at the uh for those of you who spend time in the uh epic 7 damage calculator uh actually like you probably want symbol of unity or portrait of the saviors on her if you really want her to do more damage uh because this 30 percent crit damage doesn't do as much as you think it does on her um so if you're so i mean if you're running for the Draco plate because you feel like it's going to get a lot of damage, it there's like it just does not compare remotely to um, Symbol of Unity or um, Portrait. Now the question is, well, it's not just um, crit damage, right? You're also getting the the the, um, the adamant shield proc passive on as a secondary effect, right? 
Uh, but my problem is I usually run her with people with an adamant shield most of the time anyway. So I feel like maybe one day I'm just going to switch her off of this. Um, but yeah, something to consider. Um, you know, if you want more damage out of her and you feel like she can survive better, then, you know, you know, I, I'd say Portrait of Savers or Symbol of Unity. Um, especially like Symbol of Unity is so fun because basically it means that like counter RBs, they're just worthless. Especially if you run enough resistance on her, which I don't have. If you run enough resistance on her, he, she'll like resist the um, the blind, and then basically his uh, MLDB is worthless. You just have her focus him, and then he just dies, um, which is pretty interesting. But as you can see here, I mean, this she's like very poorly geared, right? So she's missing a lot of crit chance because this boot sucks. It's a blue boot, uh, and then this you know seventy eight crit chance, whatever. It's like high high health, but there's like nothing else on here. Um, but yeah. Her and then there's no crit chance here whatsoever, right? So it's just it's just really bad. There's a lot of really bad gear on her. Um, Lilibet just has one shot stuff here, but again, does it like like her like her and Euphin are not very useful because I need them for one shotting stuff, but I can't one shot because I can't take a turn because I don't have Oxlot. So you know, there you go. Uh, Charles here. Uh, I I used to have him tankier, but then I realized that like a tanky Charles doesn't do anything like. Yeah, he doesn't do anything, right? You want him to just hit everyone as hard as you possibly can hit someone. So I ran. I decided to run him on this defense. Uh, that's a pretty good set. Uh, so I just decided to put this on him. Um, one thing I do want to do. Well, I should probably let's see. Do I have anything to change that? Uh, health, crit damage, no. Speed. Oh, th th this can be attack percentage actually. I don't have an attack percentage piece. Wow. But yeah, if I get attack percentage piece, that's going on here. It's like, it's this necklace with that is dumb. Anyway, uh, back to what I was saying is uh, you really need him to do a lot of damage, basically. Because um, you could just one shot, like, any unit. Uh, this is my flurry, you know, 260 speed, not bad. Um, very slow compared to, uh, what? not bad for this account, but very slow in general. Because, like, I was watching Zodi's video last time, Zodi Atma, for those of you who watch uh, more Epic 7 stuff or looking for more Epic 7 stuff, I recommend his channel. Um, but he was like, oh yeah, my Falconer Clurry is kind of slow, 270 speed, and I was like, <laughs> there you go, I mean, um, that, that's a good indication of, like, that's where, uh, that's where I am, is, uh, my highest, you know, this is as fast as I can make in a Falconer Clurry, and she's only got about 260 speed, uh, and I thought that was alright, but then, you know, Zodi comes out and tells me 270 is bad, um, but yeah, so, I mean, this is about as fast as I can make her, she's alright, her effectiveness is kind of, it, it just dips way too low, but... Uh, not a whole lot I can do about that. Um, she still does her job against, like, low F effective units. Like, you can't come in here and then use her to, like, um, CC a Lilius because... Well, I can't, right? Normally you could, right? But I can't because I don't have enough effectiveness. And Lilius usually has immunity and effect resistance. So, you know, there you go. Uh, but yeah, so that's something to consider is that, uh, you know, I don't have a whole lot of... Um, speed or effectiveness on her. Um, I, I actually like the defense more than I like the um, the health on her. So I'm running a defense. Uh, actually, I, I need, well, I need a defense uh, piece here, but uh, this, the speed is too good to give up. So there you go. Right, but I'm gonna get a defense uh, ring here. Uh, this should make her a lot better. But anyway, that's 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 another thing. Um, maybe I should pull on Charles to get more of these. But I, I think I mentioned this in a video one time. It's just that like. People mistake Falconer Clurry, like, Justice for All functions on Falconer Clurry. And that's about it. That's what the statement ends. A lot of people seem to think that Falconer Clurry is just broken with this, or it's like, she's amazing with it. She's, no, she's not. She just isn't really that good. Um, she's just the only one that can use it. So, like, don't don't let people convince you that this artifact is just broken on her. It's like the, the thing that makes her, no, it's, it's just good on her. It's, she's the only one who can use it. Like, no one else can use this. Cause she's got, um, she's got sustain built in. She takes so many turns that like, even if you don't have it a hundred percent, like you're just getting buffs everywhere all the time. Right. So you know, she's the only one that can really use it is, is how I describe that. Uh, I guess this video is getting kind of long. So we're going to kind of go and, and look at the main units I used in RTA, uh, the ones I've picked. Um, this is my Landy. Uh, she hits pretty hard. Uh, the 85% crit chance. Gets me to 100% against water and then 85 against everyone else. And that generally tends to be okay, right? So I'm not going to like sweat it too much. Uh, I like her speed. I just like everything. Like basically the way she is, it's just perfect. I mean, it kind of bothers me that it's not 300 crit damage just because 300 is a, just a more solid number, honestly, if we're being honest. Um, 
but yeah, I like her speed. Um, just like, you know, I like everything about her. Uh, hopefully I can get this to change this defense stat, but I'm not entirely sure if I want to do that still. Uh, but yeah, she's just pretty good. Um, I have a plus three, and I also have two other copies of this um, for whenever someone else wants to use it. I've been kind of thinking and debating whether I want to put... Um, what's it called? I want to put the... Uh, the Rengar specialty drink on her and then have her just penetrate even more defense. Um, just have her just destroy everyone. Uh, and then put this guiding light on um, SSB and just make her hard to kill. Cause the only way to kill an SSB who's in stealth, right? Is to AOE her and you don't want to be AOEing an SSB, <laughs> right? It's just that simple. Um, so, you know, there you go. That, that might be something interesting, but she really kind of just does need the, um, she really does kind of need this. I mean, I have two, so I could just put the other one on SSB, but uh, the defense pen on that uh, Rengar's drink is just too good. Uh, let's see. We didn't use her, but that's kind of her stats. I just kind of put whatever gear I had on her. Like, you can see here, there's, there's no speed. There's no nothing. I just was like, ah, let's just put it on and just have her usable, basically, is the bottom line. Uh, so I chose... I don't remember if I chose him. I might have chosen him. But here's my uh, ML Crow. 217 speed. Relatively slow, but he hits decently hard, and he's also got... Um, a huge amount of um, health. Uh, ideally, you want to get rid of this this health, this effectiveness, probably, who and the crit chance too. Uh, effect resistance is a perfect helmet, and that crit chance there. Uh, effectiveness. So, oh, there we go. We could put effect resistance on this um, on this, and hopefully get more. And basically, it's so good having these uh, stat changers because there's a bunch of just random stats. So you can see here his crit chance. We can drop that. Uh, effectiveness. We can drop that. Uh, and attack is, is, is about 50, 50, you kind of, it's like all right to have, but it's not really that good to have. You'd rather have like more health or speed. Uh, but yeah, so this is, this is how he is right now. Um, doing pretty well. Um, max mullet. I actually pulled a regular crowd and I threw him in there. I was going to change this to health percentage, but this crit chance has just become invaluable. Cause I put him with like, I'll pair him with like a Landy or like an Arbiter Vildred. And you can see from that, that, um, these stats, like, these crit chance is just invaluable because as, as you saw on my land, he doesn't have 100% crit chance. So having 6% more on top of that is 91. So we're basically solid from there. Um, yeah, so there you go. Uh, who else did I use in that game? Oh, my uh, Maid Chloe. Maid Chloe is just insanely good. Like, there's so many, like, there's so many revive counters. But if you can, like, save her for, like, a, a last pick, you can, like, you can save her the way I, I was playing. I saved her for the last two picks. Um... Oh, she has a lot of speed for not having a speed set. Uh, but I saved her for the last two picks, and all he had was one pick to counter her with. And there really isn't a whole lot of picks you can counter her with. That's if they have it. Now, once you get into higher level RTA, uh, they're going to have a revive counter, so I wouldn't really bank on her too much. But at least in Champion and Challenger, which I think most of us should be, uh, she's insane because people can't really deal with you bringing your whole team back, attack buffed, and then they just kind of like, you know, it took them a long time as it was to get rid of them that way. Um, but yeah, I don't know. She's, she's just insane. Like, I, I just kind of threw her on because I was tired of using Ruel and Ruel not doing anything because reviving one unit does, like, piss all. Um, but giving everybody... An, and also, I needed another person to give out attack buff, right? Uh, having, like, her, Landy, and ML Crow are just, like, dumb together. Like, it's just... like Well, I don't know, because I've been grinding a lot of regular arena because I needed all those crests to get that boot. Uh, and I've been doing a lot of right arena. And just having her there as a safety measure of, like, reviving anyone who dies because... In regular arena, obviously, they can't pick counters, right? So unless they have a revive counter, it's not going to do nothing. It's not going to do anything to you. And no one has revive counters on their static uh, defenses. So bringing Maid Chloe in there and then bringing her, like, team-wide revive to just, like, dump on everyone is just ridiculous. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I got, like, looking at her now, she has pretty decent stats for just, like, a bunch of just gear I slapped on her that I just had uh, in reserve. Um, but obviously she could be a lot better. Um, if you want her to be more competitive, you know, kind of, that's what you kind of need. Uh, but you know, as she is now, she's been doing wonders, especially on Guild War because, um, she makes it so you can just bring in like one damage dealer. And now suddenly that damage dealer for one can't die and can be constantly re revived, especially because there's no like arena, like arena does damage to you every so often. Um, and later turns of uh, regular arena, uh, they'll just die from like one turn of like that electricity, that lightning damage. Uh, but in, in Guild War, that doesn't happen. They have to keep killing them over and over again, and they keep getting their turns anyway, and then they just die. Uh, so you just bring her a tank and then a damage dealer, and the damage dealer can keep doing his job because he'll just never die. 
Uh, so yeah. Uh, what else? Let's see. Did I? Oh, he picked CC. I picked. Uh, I picked Arbiter Villard. Uh, this is my Arby. Uh, he, he's pretty decent. I think people are probably hitting like four thousand something, maybe forty three. Maybe I want to say probably forty five or four thousand, probably with like three thirty crit damage in like Legend RTA. Legend players are probably hitting those stats um, with like two fifty speed, two forty speed. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I, I you know, mine's decent for where I am. He has like. This is my best gear. Like I have curated this gear since I pulled him, and I've just been like, you know, upgrading it, <clears throat> upgrading it here and there, and prioritizing him quite a bit because he's just so good in like he's so good in so much content. RTA, he's kind of not that good. He's still a first pick, but he's very easily countered. So it's like you you pick, you pick him first, and then you have to be ready to deal with whatever counters come his way. And you know, there's just so many counters these days. So something to be considered, especially in high level RTA. I don't know, I don't know how he's doing up there. Uh, but in champion and, and and challenger, like he's definitely a first pick, and you either have to have a counter to him, or they have to, or you have to be ready for someone else's counter to him. Um, but yeah, I, I really like how his stats are coming out. I mean, obviously the seventy nine percent crit chance is kind of, you know, sad. But the way I see it is like, if we pretend he has thirty percent crit chance or seventy percent crit chance, right? Let's pretend he has seventy percent crit chance. This thing has a seventy percent chance of proccing, right? So for those of you who know probability. The, the chance of something happening, of X happening, or Y happening is adding their chances together. So the chance of him critting at 70% is 70, plus the chance of uh, Alexis, bro Alexis Basket proccing is 30%. So whether either he crits innately or he crits because Alexis Basket gave him the crit chance he needed to crit, uh, if you're looking at one or the other, theoretically you have 100% chance of, of critting every time, right? Mathematically. Now, it doesn't work that way in practice, and it takes, you know, you got to do sample sizes and all that stuff, and, and, you know, there's, like, standard deviations and, and things to consider, right? Uh, but mathematically, that's good enough for me, the fact that, you know, he's got 80% crit chance, and if he isn't going to crit, hopefully the, the Lexus basket's there to, like, save him, uh, but there's really no, like, <laughs> there's no guaranteed way to, like, maneuver it. Uh, if you're if you're building your your Arbiter Buildred, I think uh, hitting 85% crit chance is basically the minimum, because then... Um, then he, he has 100% against light units, which obviously is a lot of light units out there. Um, but yeah, uh, the way he is now, he's, he's served me, you know, pretty well, so I'm not too bummed out about it. Um, I need a crit chance to put on here, right? Take off this effectiveness, and then suddenly he'll be like at 83. Actually, do I even have anything? Uh, I do not. So basically, I have a lot of attack percentage stuff. Uh, but there you go. I mean, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, so I mean that's mainly it. I think who else did I use? Was that it? It was just uh, Arbiter Buildred, uh, made Chloe, Arbiter Buildred made Chloe, Lilius, and Cerise, and that was it. Uh, as you can see, the Cerise outsped there, which you know, I, for those of you, I've actually been outsped quite a lot of times actually by F10As, which is, goes to show you how slow she is. Um, yeah, so Fairy Tail Tenebria. If you're getting outsped by Fairy Tail Tenebria, you lost that match no matter what, right? You lost that match on gear because the fact that you don't have enough speed to outspeed such a slow unit with you know such a fast unit means your gear was just not up to par, and that person was going to beat you, you know, ten times out of ten probably, honestly. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of it. I just wanted to show off these units. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, I already talked about kind of where the game is and why I'm not too fast about playing it. Uh, I guess talking about going forward, um, I'm probably going to still be making summoning videos. I just don't have, like, there's nothing in this game that I really like doing, so I don't like playing RTA, and that's the only really content you can do. Uh, Guild War, I don't really feel like I have anything to offer to show during Guild War, so I don't haven't made any Guild War, Guild War videos. Um, I mean, I'm not going to, like, I mean, what am I going to do? Like, show um, uh, Wyvern, you know, runs or something like that. I'm not running around optimizing Wyvern runs or teaching people guides or anything, so... This, the, the the amount of content I can make for this game is kind of limited for my for where I am and, and what level of, of competition I'm at. Um, so that's why I haven't made a whole lot of videos. Um, but I do, f but you know I will probably start making more videos about different stuff later. Um, like I said, Yu-Gi-Oh! I, I really do want to. I've been getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh! and I really do want to make videos on Yu-Gi-Oh! I like kind of like where the the ban list left us, and I, I like kind of where the meta is going. Um, but we'll we'll get to that one. 
when I, well, I'll talk about that when we get there in, in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! specific video. So I'm not like boring anybody who doesn't want to hear that. Uh, but yeah, so that's that. Uh, hopefully you guys are doing pretty good. Um, uh, I'm just curious to see what comes after the uh, the uh, the Guilty Gear collab. Personally, I'm just waiting for the uh, JoJo collab because I just want Dio. Uh, <laughs> uh, hopefully, like if they have a JoJo collab and they don't have Dio as a unit, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna uninstall at that point. Because <laughs> honestly, I mean, how are you gonna like? I think I don't know. Anyway, but yeah, that, that's my thing. Is just hopefully we get Dio. <laughs> that's all I care about. Uh, so yeah, I'll leave you guys and, uh, you know, look forward to any new videos that, um, I might be making later. I'll probably make one for Fire Emblem for those of you who do watch that. Uh, yeah, and that's that.